Have you ever wanted to smooth something in Geometry Nodes but didn't know how? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how I made this. As always, a link to the .blend file is on my Patreon page as well as my previous project, so go check that out if you're interested. All right, so this is what we're going to be working towards. I'm not going to make this exact same model. We're just going to use a Sudan, but I'm going to show you how to make it uh, so it's smooth. So we got a little option where we can turn it on or off. That's the effect. We can change its levels so it's not smooth at all. And then it's very smooth. And we can also play around with this exponent, which can give us a lot more flexibility than the, uh, than the subdivision surface modifier. It kind of acts like the subdivision surface modifier, but we got a lot more control with it. All right, so to begin, start a new project, go to the geometry node tab and click new and then add in a monkey, bring it into your setup. All right, now this effect is actually really simple. It's mainly just three nodes. So you're gonna need a position node. You're gonna need a set position and you're gonna need a blur attribute. So connect the set position like that so we can see what we're working with. And then you're gonna connect, uh, well first off switch the blur attribute over to vector, connect it to position like that, and then connect this to value. And let's disable the original so we can see it. Now, as we crank up the iterations, we get some truly horrific things, but we can make this a little bit better if we add in a subdivision mesh right before the points, right before the set position. We can get it to look smooth like that. And then no matter how many subdivisions you make or, or how many iterations you give it, it's still gonna have these these lines that you may or may not be able to see thanks to YouTube compression. But they're there, I can see them really well. Uh, so to fix that, you need to do a set shade smooth and have it right at the end. Now, that's the basic setup. If you wanna get a little bit more fancy with it, there is a relationship between the mesh level and the iteration and I'm not gonna set it up here, but I'll show you what I did. Yeah, so this right here is the, is the smooth thing that we just set up. I've added a switch so we can turn it on and off. And I've set it up so you were using this math power node. Let's go into the iterations. And it's also go into this level. This is the, these two are really the same thing. So you got the level coming into the base and then we got an exponent going to the iterations and then it's going just straight to here. And for the exponent, I've noticed if you set it to pi for whatever reason, it's the most smooth. And it seems like anything less than that will start to make it sharper. And anything more than that, it starts to distort it to the point where it don't even look like the original shape anymore. So it seems, to be, seems that pi is a really good number to use for the exponent. And then we can turn it off. I could probably set it so the, uh, so the set shade smooth is disabled too. So now when it's off, it's completely off. So that's what the original looks like. And then that's the first level, second level, and so on. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Have a good one and take care.